Welcome back to VID Machine and watching for Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Kaboom, Kaboom, and Super Kaboom, oh yeah. What happened to our music? Hmm. For some reason, we are running into technical difficulties. Ah, here we go. Kaboom, oh yeah, Kaboom, oh yeah. Here we go, here we go. It's the Dwarves versus the Elves in Mage Knight Arena. Mage Knight Arena, this is the prototype and then we are playtesting now. You play with the tokens and the figures and the chessboard, oh yeah. I have offended you again, so I guess this is the end. Because everybody knows you're such a snowflake and you're just quite upset at every single thing we said. Everybody knows it's all just in your... Oh, Vault is 5. Wasted feeling going speaking You know I have crossed the line When I said that you were mine Going skiing No hard feelings Since you will not be my girl This is the end of my own world Welcome back guys to another episode of EMC Saga 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 So this is part one Of our Mage Knight Arena tutorial So how do you actually play Mage Knight Arena? How, what do you actually do? Um, why is this in a chessboard? Because normally you just play it in any surface, then you have a ruler, then you have a bunch of dice. Here you have a bunch of tokens. So I'm going to explain the rules to you. You move just like regular chess. Each unit gets to move one space at a time. Commanders, however, move like queens and rooks. They can go to the side, they can go um, sideways, they can go forward, backwards, as long as they occupy two squares. Alright? Now, um, in the beginning of the game, you guys collect these resources. You can either collect gold. Gold can be used to recruit other units. You can get an attack icon which allows your character to have a special attack meaning it can destroy a unit which is either in front of it or if you have a ranged unit like an archer or a flying unit just like a griffin you can have it um, destroy a unit which is far away or if you have a wizard you can use a spell to wipe out multiple units at the same time the next one would be a shield icon. The shield icon, if you have it, allows you to equip it to a unit, protect that unit, so that for a certain number of times, it cannot be killed or destroyed. These are the plus health units, which give you life or health. Once you get that, your commander gets additional health, and he has to be damaged by enemy units. So, they can either... Try eating it every time you check him, or he gets checked, he gets minus one life. Or minus ten, depending on the attack of the enemy unit. Now, how is attack determined? Attack is determined here in the dial, as you can see. Oh, focusing, focusing, good god, I need a new camera. Focusing, focusing, there we go, okay, there, you see their attack? Eight. So that's the amount of damage they deal to the commander every time they eat. But if it's a unit versus a unit, it's just like chess. You get to eat the other unit. So we'll start right now. Commanders cannot move in the very first part of a game. So I am going to start by moving one piece forward. Move forward and I will get a gold token. So I can use that to recruit a unit later on. My opponent responds by moving forward, and then he gets an attack token. Keep all tokens there. I move forward again with another unit. He gets an attack token. He moves forward again, and he gets a gold token. I move my commander forward to get a gold token. So we can only get that one at a time. He moves his commander forward to get an attack token. I move mine forward to get an attack token. Now, at this point, 
he has ranged attackers because he's using elves. So, his elf is right direct, is directly at my unit, so elves can eat units from here, just like queens, here, 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 here. So, what he does is he can use a special attack token to kill this guy. So, once you expel, this guy goes, the attack token takes its place. So, so far so good, okay? Um, we're going to be continuing this in the next video, and you'll see how gameplay ensues, especially recruiting. Once again, this is the ID Machine with the Sly Guy. We're signing off right now.